This CDC map shows how prevalent the COVID variants are across the U.S. Florida is a dark blue, meaning we have by far the most variants of any state. Some of the variants can overcome previous protection. Dr. Eileen Marty at Florida International University tells me that danger is for people who already had the original COVID version. We have had to hospitalize here in South Florida persons who had COVID previously, mild cases that had recovered, but have now been reinfected. The CDC says Florida has 1,070 cases total, the majority of them the UK variant. Marty says those who have been vaccinated are safer from it because the structure of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines produce a higher quality antibody to fight the virus than what you'd get naturally. Now, Florida has seen a big decrease in overall cases in recent weeks. That is an encouraging sign, but also lately we've seen that number seem to plateau. And we're quite worried, we're quite concerned that if we don't continue to adhere to the public health guidelines of distancing, masking and hygiene, we may see another uptick. Our state's focus on vaccinating seniors should mean that even if we do see a surge, it should be less deadly. Marty says the next target should be hospitality workers. Because these are the individuals that are in the front line of people coming from somewhere else potentially with a variant that can then get uh, become endemic in our community. In Orange County, Bob Hazen, West 2 News. Florida recently surpassed 2 million total coronavirus cases. There have been no more than 6,000 new cases reported each day over the past two weeks.